Hello Pisces, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your reading, actually I'm going to use the other deck, to do your reading for December. Um, I'm sorry they seem to be all over the place this week, but trying to fit them in amongst everything else so that at least I get them to you. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, if the readings don't resonate, don't forget before you leave to check out other aspects of your natal chart because sometimes one of those may come through for you. So if you don't know how to look up those aspects, you can go on to Cafe Astrology and just put in your birth details. If you have the time you're born, that makes it even easier because you can pull up your all of your aspects then. But you can still get most of your chart without a time of being born. So have a look at that. Now I'm going to use Julie Massaglia deck today because um, the after tarot because I'm trying to find decks that don't aren't too shiny for the light in, in my office here. So I'm in a different room. <laughs> you may notice that. Um, you can see that, look. <laughs> so um, you're in with all my crystals and everything. Okay, so let's have a look at what's happening for Pisces in December. Alrighty, beautiful. Temperance. So we're looking at a time in your life where you have balance. You're feeling really good. You've worked on a lot of stuff. I always talk about this beautiful woman, one foot in the water and one foot on the ground. There's equal amounts of fluid in the cup. She even stands very um, evenly. The thing is with temperance, it talks of divine timing. So something may be happening for you in December because of this divine timing. The universe has got something worked out here. I always think when I, I love to see the temperance card because it means everything's happening. Ducks are in a row, people. Okay, so first off we have the Magician. So the Magician is a card that says at this time you are able to manifest what you want. Um, you're in a very good place. You're very well balanced. You're, you know, you have everything you need so you can manifest now. Okay, and then we have the judgment. So it looks like you're manifesting a second chance of, with something, with someone. I'm not sure. But the judgment card talks of rebirth, the calling, um, rebirthing the phoenix, raising up from the dead, all of those sort of things. Liking your reading, Pisces. Okay, so you have a choice coming in for you here. Now, this choice could be the head over heart decision. Um, you see this man's trying to balance out two very equal things. Um, he's waiting for his ships to come in down here. The waters are quite turbulent, so we know he's quite emotional. So he's trying to keep a level head here um, in making this decision. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups can represent your sign because it's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um I'm not sure, um, this could be a mother figure, it could be a woman that, or a person that you're interested in. What I can tell you about this person is, if it's not your energy, if it's your energy, you're feeling very loving, kind and very generous at the moment. Now, the thing is with the Queen of Cups, is she's very intuitive too, so she's very often a psychic person. Um, but it could mean that you're feeling very psychic at the moment. Maybe you've got good intuition. Um, but definitely very tuned into yourself at this time, if this is you. Definitely. Okay, then we have the Two of Swords. So there's a big decision coming in for you here. Now, the Two of Swords is a slightly different way of making a decision because you don't have all the information. So that means you're making a decision to do something without actually knowing what's going to happen. So we can have decisions where we know which job to take or we can have decisions, you know, on what holiday to have. But when this comes in, it's sort of like you're really not sure which way to go. Now, this involves some speaking some kind of truth because we have the swords here. Um, it's something you've thought very much about, but you're blindfolded. So you're blind to the truth. You don't know what's going to happen here. So it's sort of like walking into something, taking a risk of faith with the fool but there's victory to be had here there's definitely a, a victory coming in for you so whatever this decision is you're making it's a good decision okay so 
this is the card of the Three of Swords, which talks of heartbreak. Um, so you could have been broken hearted in the past. OK, I can tell you what's happening here. So for me, this is about maybe speaking to someone or going to be or wanting to be with someone, but understanding that you've been through a lot of pain in the past. And this is quite a difficult decision here. Because you've been hurt in the past, you're finding it very difficult to move forward on this. You know it's what you want. You know it's destined. We've got the temperance, the, ma um, the magician, and then the judgment card, which says to me that you've manifested this. So you've wanted it, but you're really scared to move forward on it because you have had a broken heart in the past. Okay, now we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups in the same reading. So we're talking twin flame here. Twin flame, at the very least, soulmate. Um, this is your card. This is the card of Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Very strongly, this is about tempering your emotions um, and moving forward without emotion, which is what the Two of Pentacles is about. Understanding that emotion may not have a place to play in this situation. And what I'm saying is no, not normal range of emotions. We're talking, you can't get over any. It's not good to get overly emotional in this situation. Something you've been thinking about, it's taking you a long time. You've been fighting demons on this one. And I can see this with this uh, uh, Three of Swords here, that this is a very hard decision for you to make. It's keeping you awake at night. Okay, but you're putting down your burdens. So you're at the end of a cycle, ready to put down your burdens and move forward on this. So very quick, very straightforward reading. That's taken all of six minutes. So, okay, so let's have a quick recap here. We have the temperance card. So I know everything is being divinely guided at the moment. And I know with this uh, judgment card here, this is about second chance with someone, moving forward with someone after maybe having a miss before. Um, you have the magician here. So you've manifested, you want this, you want this basically. There's decisions to be made here. There's a balancing up of how to manage this with your heart and head, especially when you've had your heart broken before. Um, you want to move forward on it, but you're really aware of this heartbreak here. The thing is, you don't know what's going to happen. You've got a decision to make where you don't know what the outcome is. I feel like with the King and Queen of Cups here that um, you both are destined to be together. And you definitely have victory in this situation, but it, you're so overwhelmed with your thoughts here. And the universe is saying you need to put these burdens down now and move forward. You can't wait any longer. With the Magician, the Temperance and the Judgment card here, it's time. It's time to go forward on this. So Pisces, something's going on for you. So I know I have a lot of Pisces people watching this video. So something's happening here. Now, keeping in mind that the energies flip flop, this could be the other person coming to you too. But you need to be reassured, whoever this person is, they feel exactly the same way. Um, I know that because we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. And the fact that it's destined. Oh, in, interesting. So you've got the card of the lion flipped out there and it says, harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. So trust in your courage, trust in who you are. Um, because something's about to happen here, Pisces. Good luck. Have a wonderful Christmas. Bye.